Today we are going to discuss the French coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned vert, three foxes crest a dolphin. This was the coat of arms of the French family of Cuskinney in County Cork, Ireland, who descended from Richard French, born 1615. He had sons James French, a wine merchant and mayor of Cork in 1696, who had a son named Savage French, who died in 1769. The second son was Bate French, a merchant and sheriff of Cork, and the third son was Matthew French, Justice of the Peace for Cork in 1697. Another for several families. With the supporters, it is Baron de Freen, Arthur French, born 1786, a member of Parliament, was raised to the peerage in 1839 as Baron de Freen of Artog in County Roscommon, Ireland, and in 1851 was created the same in the county of Sligo. He was the son of Arthur French, born 1764 of French Park, and the grandson of Arthur French, Member of Parliament. The shield and perhaps the crest, I'd have to look, was also that eve of Mani Via Cat of French of Monivia Castle in County Galway, Ireland. The estate was inherited by Robert French, who died in 1778. He, he represented Galway in the English Parliament and was son of Patrick French, who died in 1744. They descended from John French, born 1489, mayor of Galway, a son of Walter French, who settled in Galway in 1473. It was also the arms of the French family of Cluny Quinn in Roscommon, Ireland. The progenitor of this family was Arthur French of Cluny Quinn, son of Arthur French of Tyrone, the mayor of Galway, and the grandson of Christopher French, and the great grandson of Geoffrey French, who died in 1619. He was of Malpit in it says County Galway. I'm not sure that Mall Pitt was in Galway. I'd have to, to double check that. Here we see French Park House, one of the family estates, and we see Moni Via Castle. Next is the coat of arms. This is a French from Scotland. We have the French family from Thorny Dykes in County Berwick and Frenchland, a parish of Moffat in County Dumfries, Scotland, who descended from Robert French, the first laird of Thorny Dykes, who received a principal charter from the Earl of March and had son and heir Adam French. Later on, there was Adam French, the eighth laird, who in 1555 was granted a charter by Queen Mary of the lands of Thorny Dykes with a manor palace, mills, etc. in Berwickshire, and of a ten, a ten dandry of the land in the town of Petcocus and the constabulary of Haddington. Similar coat of arms, this one with a ship in full sail proper in the crest, or Bailey's Town, Scotland, William French, born 1732, was a tobacco merchant active in Chesapeake Bay, one of the founding directors of, it says Glasgow something or other, I, I guess I didn't write the, the rest of it down, I want to say it was like the Chamber of Commerce or something along those lines. Provost of Glasgow and a magistrate, he was the owner of the estate of Baileyston. Another, this one from Ireland, the French family from Bell Turbot in County Cavan, Ireland, 
granted in 1682, a family who descended from Richard French who died in 1637, a merchant who lived at Bell Turbot, had son Matthew French, born 1617, a merchant, and the high sheriff of Cavan in 1677. Similar coat of arms and crests from Pearshore County, Worcestershire, England. William French, son of Robert French, sold lands in Pershore in 1573. He had brother Edward French. There was also George French of Pershore, who was fined for refusing knighthood at the coronation of King Charles I in 1626. French of Sharpham in the parish of Ashbrinkton, County Devonshire, England. Robert French, who lived in the latter portion of the 14th century of Totnes, a member of Parliament, married the daughter and heiress of Robert Winard of Sharpham. In the following century, it was owned by Robert French of Hornford. French of Stream from Chittingly in County Sussex. John French, born around the year 1527, of Stream House, had son Stephen French, born 1558, of the same location. The family were iron workers and had an iron smelting furnace in Chittingly. Another, I wasn't able to find the armager on this one. The notes state it's from the French family of Cranfield in County Essex, and it has a note that says hundredth of Dunmo. Not really sure what that means. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Another with dolphins, fleur de lis in a crescent in the crest. Argent two bendless between as many dolphins sable. Sable a bend argent between two cotices indented or. Argent a bend engrailed between two birds ghouls from a French family in County Essex. Wasn't able to find the grantee on this one. There are several with wolves. Purpale sable and argent a wolf salient counterchanged. Another purpale sable azure a wolf passant argent. A few with crosses, argent, a cross, triparted sable. This one looks very old. Sable, a cross, triparted, and fretted argent. Argent, a fess and grailed ghouls, in chief, a rose of the last, for French with an E. And there's a brief list of some Men with the French surname who could have a coat of arms or a, the, the caliber of person who would have one who weren't discussed. There's George Russell French, 1803, an architect and surveyor, son of John French, ironmonger, iron active in Essex. John French, who lived in the 17th century, a chemist and physician from Oxfordshire. John French, the first member of parliament for Hythe in County Kent in 1393. Martin French from the same place, also a member of parliament in 1407. And then John French the second and third, who lived in the 15th century, also members of parliament for Winchelsea, County Sussex, and Winchester, Hampshire. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.